Welcome back to the Ranger playthrough, everybody. After that one hour, beautiful one hour episode we had, we are back. I still haven't updated to 1.3.3 yet. Uh, probably after this episode, I'm gonna do it off camera. We'll check if all the mods are, you know, set to do that. But uh, here we are. We fought the Star Scouter in the last episode. And in this episode, we're looking to fight the uh, Slime God. That's definitely who I want to fight. So to do that, we need to get... Where is it? I think it's in this chest. We need more Abonian Gel. I think it's 50 per slime spawn. Or thing. Whatever the hell they're called. Let's see here. Yeah, we need 50. Per overloaded sludge. Crusher Blade. Crow Slime Staff. Okay. And obviously, to get them, we just gotta go over here and fight. Fight some dudes. So let's go do that, shall we? Let us go do that. Now I want to talk about some things uh, that I don't talk about often. And that is, I want some more fan feedback and some more fan interaction. But it's hard to do when people don't watch my other series or when people don't follow my Twitter. I've been being fairly active on Twitter recently. And I usually, hey, look, there's some. Usually we release spoilers for uh, episodes early on on Twitter. Like little pictures or sometimes even clips if I have the clips available. And there's like a handful of people that see them. Maybe like 10. 10? 10, 10 seems like I'm reaching too much. Maybe even less than that. Probably like 4 to 7 people actually see them. And it sucks. And the thing about my other series is that Terraria obviously the most popular series on my channel right now. And I'm going to keep on doing it. Because I love Terraria. Terraria is an amazing and fun game. So much replayabil uh, replayability value. And that's why I love it. I love games with replayability value and games with a, a good bit of freedom here. Like, we have the freedom to choose, like, what weapons we want to use. Pretty much what playthrough we want to have. That's why I like games like Fallout and Skyrim so much. But, uh, you know, no one ever watches those series. My commentary doesn't change. I'm not asking, I'm not forcing you guys or even, like, saying, like, hey, I'm going to stop posting Terraria. Hopefully you guys watch other series. I'm not trying to do that or anything. I'm just asking for you guys to check out the other series. See if you like them, because I don't change. I'm not like, I'm not Gamers 101 here when I play Terraria, and then I'm like Gamers 102 when I play fucking Skyrim or Fallout. Like, no, I'm the same person in everything. And I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of fun games I've been playing recently, and I've just had all that footage, like most of that footage is all set up. And I didn't, I don't have time to record Terraria as easily as I can record a game like uh, Skyrim, or as easily as I can record, uh, Dark Souls. Dark Souls, I can just, like, launch up and play, because you're always progressing in Dark Souls. Pretty much always progressing. But in Terraria, I have to plan out episodes to plan what we want to do in the episodes. And then, boom, bada, bing, we can get moving forward like that. And that's why I don't post it as often. I really want to post Terraria a lot, but it's hard sometimes. Especially, with, like, the free time I've been getting. Uh, school, like, I'm a senior. Like, I don't know, school isn't too tough yet. But, you know, there's still some stuff I gotta do. I still gotta do homework first. And, you know, it's just like, hey, when a game's easy to record, play, and render, and I can post that and give you guys something to watch, then I'm probably gonna do it. And Terraria takes a lot more work. I wanna devote a lot more time to Terraria when I play it. But if you guys understand what I'm saying, pretty much too long, don't hear. T L D H, not T L D R. If you, like, skip past all of that, hey, follow my Twitter. Watch my other series. Check out my other series. They're fun. I have fun with them. I can't tell if you guys do because there's only like 200 people that watch it. Hey, we got a shadow orb. Do I have a shadow orb? Do I not have a shadow orb? I swear I had one. Oops, I didn't mean to shoot you with a rocket. Low key, I want to fight a. Uh, what, are, what, are they, what are they called? Eater of Worlds? Low key, I want to. Let's see what we can set up. Maybe I can fight one. But overall goal of this episode, King Slime and prepare for the finale. Did I say finale? Prepare for the wall of flesh, finale of hard mode, I guess. And something I really want to do is uh, fight all the bosses in, uh, fight all the bosses at once in pre-hard mode. That's going to be fucking chaos. But we do have the ability to do so with uh, Fargo's mod. Luckily for us, great mod. Great convenient mods. I really like little mods there, like just super convenient really awesome makes Terraria a better game like a better game than it already is just by having these little tiny things that can affect so much I don't think we can fight the eater of worlds without like making a summon thing so I don't see any more balls wait there might be one here yes there's one here 
Look at that. This means I can go straight up and fight him above ground. Hey, I will take that any day. But, uh, I'm trying to think. Fargo, yeah, there's, I think there's an item from the Fargo's mod that allows us to summon all pre-hard mode bosses, including modded, I believe. If not, I don't know. Maybe I'll use, like, the butcher command. Yeah, there's a butcher command. Maybe I'll use that if it doesn't summon all NPCs, all, uh, modded bosses included. And we'll figure something out there to make sure we get all the modded bosses. Please, cryophobic. Did I even get a reward? I did. Is this a material? It is a material. Hey, how you doing? Boom, boom, boom. We get to test out some of our new weapons here. We did not use... Obviously, we didn't use, like, all of these against him. How does this work? That works pretty well. Let's just see get some overall damage here. This would probably be good. Oh, yeah, this is really good. Start breaking. Break, break, break. This this weapon is going to be better later once we get into hard mode. Because we can add, like, debuffs on it. Sorry if you guys can't hear me. Like, I don't know if I can hear myself right now. Let's turn the volume down. Thank God my new headphones I bought have, a, like, adjustable volume, like, on the headphones. It's such a convenient thing to have. What can I buff with? I'll just buff with it. I'm playing pretty sloppily here. I'm still in fucking the corruption. Everything got really quiet there for a second. I got scared. I thought you could spawn. Get me out of this corner. Hey, man. No, it's good that I'm fighting another one. Because I need another warm, warm scarf that I can turn into a... Uh... Wait, no. Don't, don't I? Mm, I don't know, actually. I think about it. We'll see. We'll see if I can make another warm scarf. I know we need a lot of them to craft those like super accessories, which I don't craft at all. There's a lot of work in crafting those super, super items. Okay, let's get rid of stuff that's pretty useless. I don't need to make a corruption sky island. Pretty sure I don't need to. Like, we kind of have corruption right here on the ground. Alright, yeah, this is fine. This is all fine. Let me just get all the souls in. I won't use them until, uh, the fix, like, that buff problem stops happening. Hey, we didn't even get the fucking Ebonian gel. The only reason why I was down there, we didn't <laughs> accomplish. Whatever. Uh, let's store that. So can I turn this? Do I? Do I already have one? Yeah, dude, I did already turn one into into it. Excuse me, door. What else can we do with it? Okay. And frozen shiny stuff. All right. Yeah, this this used to it. It's good to know. So I'll just keep it. An extra one. Why not? And then, let me get rid of this. I don't need that fucking helmet. And I'll sell all these orb staffs. Hey, man. I don't like orb staffs. How about a couple of these? I'll sell a couple of these to you. Because I might be a little bit broke on gold. I don't know, actually. Am I? Kind of. I mean, I still have two platinum. But uh, let's put this away now. Oh, I still have a shadow orb. Let's see. It's a material. Let's see what we can make out of it. I don't really want a peach. I'm good about the peach, man. Alright, so I guess I'll jump cut uh, until I get some ebony and gel. Boom! Here's the slime right here. Ooh, he's a mutilator. He's a mutilator. Thank you for mutilating. Okay. Can I just craft it? No. I don't remember what we need. I'm kind of just like creating straight past down here. Kind of tired of falling into like all these pits occasionally. Okay. Let's do this then. Let us see what we can, or what we need to craft it. I need to make more houses. So I need to get to doing. So we need slime crown, ebonstone blocks. No problem, slime crown, how do we do that? No clue, uh, we'll figure it out here. Slime crown, golden crown, 20 gel. Well, I should probably know that, that's pretty easy. So I just need to make a crown primarily. It's the big thing here. Put an ingots. Can I make a crown? Or, hold up, I need a ruby right quick. Boom. So, you know how the bomber playthrough is a challenge playthrough? I have another idea has hit me really recently of another challenge playthrough. And uh, I just scrolled over it right there. Hopefully, maybe some of you saw what I just scrolled over. Okay, crown, boom. That is on deck. Do we have gel? Of course we have gel. Why wouldn't we have gel? What did I just put away? No, we're good. Back down there we go. I love going down here every fucking second. Hey, did we make an arena somewhere? No, we didn't. We need to make a 
arena down here. I guess we do have an arena down here. I do need potions. I gotta make sure I get those. 150 Eater Worlds. Alright, let's, uh, slime crown. Okay, we don't craft it here. Uh, we craft it here, obviously. So, there it is. Overloaded sludge. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and put all this stuff away. Ebonstone, put this in blocks. We're kind of running out of room in there. Uh, potion materials. Look at that shark fin. It's for the, you know, the desert sharks or whatever the hell they're called in the latest update. Increase my money movement speed. Um, I mean, I guess I can make it for the movement speed purposes. Shit, I ran out of, ooh, I ran out of potions. I ran out of bottles for potions. God damn it. You know what I want to do eventually? Up here, I want to eventually create a, uh... Arena, that'd be pretty cool. Sky Arena. There's someone commented recently that they're like, "Wow, you amaze me, Game Raiders! You fought a you fought a worm enemy in the sky. I find that pretty good. You know, I accomplished something new. You know, would would you just say don't move? Do I need anything from you? Probably not. All right, let's head over here. I'm actually waiting for something to knock on the door. I use this. Uh, actually, no, I won't talk about that now. Let's uh, you know, hey, buy these flowers. It's perfect. Perfect arena. Buy the flowers. Just asking for this perfect area to just be built on. Man made. Nature? Fuck it. Let's just place wooden platforms everywhere. Alright, that should do more than what we need. Maybe this is what I should do. Place one all the way over here. And then place one all the way over here. Let's do this. Young Sleepy, humongous. I see you sleeps. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's wait for him to get somewhat close. Okay, well, that's always a great sign. Oh, that's another NPC that's gonna die. Hey, how you doing? Um, oh shit, he cursed me. I can't, even, I can't do anything. <laughs> there we go, okay. Hey, how you doing? Ooh, don't get hit by those. Those fucking hurt. Those hurt. So, let's see. How good we can do this here. We want to, you know, keep our distance. But also do a lot of damage while keeping our distance. The second form is really the one I'm worried about. And I guess those balls are pretty worry worrisome. Screw to you. We do got a crowd control to an extent. So maybe I'll whip this out here and there. Just to kill a couple of these guys. I don't like how long the ball is today. You know, I am liking this fucking, uh... This dude we got from the... Martian Invasion, not Martian Invasion. What is wrong with me? Uh, the dude we got from the Star Scouter. I really need to fight the Star Scouter again. So, we may or may not be fighting him in this episode. Because it would be really nice to have more stuff from him. A.K.A. the gun he drops. The one thing that I needed. Uh, I guess pretty much, I guess I needed this. This is pretty useful having him. He's really useful having him. He does that little extra damage. That you need to push through. He does the little thing. Back is if he goes up that shit. He got that for you real quick. Okay. Let's uh get some piercing damage here. You know, like multiple enemies. Multiple enemies will also have the range. You know, we gotta really watch out for these balls here. We wanna make sure we can, you know, space out away from these balls. We should be going into the next one very soon. I wanna make sure I have my flight pretty much good to go. Alright, he's not doing oh, there he goes. Gotta, we just gotta, just gotta watch him. Just, just gotta watch him. He's not too bad in this form. Oh god. I got those hearts. I'm trying to stay close so I can get to those hearts if I need to. That's really why I'm just chilling in this area. Because you never know when you're really gonna just need some hearts to heal. And he's keeping up pretty, pretty good. Should be fine. Come back over here. You dare jump on those coins. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. I'll give you that one, my boy. All right, good fight, good fight. Yeah, I'm gonna. I gotta kill all these guys though. Make sure I get all their loot. I right, probably this would be the best way to go. Make sure I get all the coins. These motherfuckers trying to steal from me. Trying to steal a coin? All right, let's see what he drops from his treasure bag. I forget. Oh, I think this is the this is the expert thing. All right, yeah. Mana overloader. Uh, not useful for us. Ruthless Overloaded Blaster. That's useful for us. Gel darts. I don't really need those. 
So let's get rid of them. Fine weapons, though, the gel darts are. Uh, let me just quick stack whatever. Throw this in the expert accessories. Maybe I should switch chests for this. So that's switching chests. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Bye bye. So, we got this right here. Let's see how this works. Huh. Very interesting. What was it 19% damage? Damn, for every 19% damage, that still looks really bad. Like, really low damage. So, give me something crazy good. That that can work. Demonic is a good thing. Uh, what should I get rid of? The marine launcher? How much of the marine launcher have I used? I don't know. We'll just get rid of it for now. Uh, yep, sure. Put in there. Ammo. Yep. Okay, so. Now what? That is the question. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to see the recipe for purified gel. I don't know if this is better than the tools I'm using. But I know you can make some. Is that master? Oh, that's kind of hard to make. Gel pick. 100% pickaxe power. It's only 5% pickaxe power. Better. Huh. I hear a vacuum going on. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Gunk shot. What did I get? Overloaded blaster. Gunk shot. That sounds cool. You need 5 hellstone, 35 gel. Okay. Do I have a hellstone? I don't have hellstone. How many times have I been to hell? Probably not often. Probably not often at, at all. What is that? Oh, it's crystal bomb. Okay, so there's that. I guess for, at this point, we just got to fight. Uh, what's his face? The Star Scouter. So I'll be right back. All right, let's put to use this new weapon. I just want to see what it does. I like it already. Wait, does it use... What's it use for ammo? Nothing. It covers like everywhere. That's why I like it. It's like a little bit less aiming for me. I just got to aim in the general direction of it. And uh, we're bound to hit. Do I even need a buff? I probably don't need a buff. If we start getting really low, then I'll buff. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cut out. Because this fight does take a little bit. Ooh, I got hit by something. Yeah, I'll just buff. Alright, so... <gasps> yes! Alright, hopefully this weapon is like dope as hell. That's pretty good. I like how it shoots. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll stick to it for now. How much ammo do we have? Not too much. Probably should just make the conversion from this ammo into this oh, into this ammo would be the right thing to do from here so let's get pretty much 500 perfectly 500 how about that and uh, that should be good oh motherfucker did I leave that up there I don't think I did I think I left it down here I really need to make more houses that's what I need to get on hey Clothier Clothier he has a crystal key somebody told me to buy the crystal key and try and get a ranged weapon from Crystallium. I'm gonna wait until the update before I open one of the chests because there's a lot better weapons from Crystallium. A lot of better ranged weapons. Uh, did what the fuck? Where'd the torch go? Was there a number of torture? Uh, what was it? Crystallium updated, you know, they updated a bunch of stuff, added a bunch of weapons to please the ranger class because there wasn't too many from what I know. I don't know, I haven't messed with the Crystal with Crystallium too much, but there was not too many, uh, weapons for range and I guess they they appeased pleased and appeased those people with uh, the latest update and hopefully we definitely in the flail playthrough we're coming up on fighting the Crystallian boss I'm pretty sure and I wasn't gonna fight him sooner but I asked the uh, developer of the mod like when should I fight him when do you think I should fight him and he told me I should wait for that update that's coming out and I waited because they were overhauling the uh, king so yeah, why not wait and just fight the overhauled king? And I'm pretty hyped for it. The king looks sweet. Really sweet ass texture. And hopefully we can crack some crystals. Uh, because he's made out of pure crystals from what I know. But whenever we get around that in the flail playthrough. But I think I'm going to end off this episode here. I don't know how long or short this was. Really petrify me because you know I did everything I needed to do in this episode before we prepared for the big mod pack update that I'm about to do and also prepare for the uh, no what is it wall of flesh we're getting ready to fight and you know moving into hard mode as a ranger is a pretty big step a lot of exciting stuff that's gonna be done uh, I might be a couple weapons I'll grab here and there I don't know I gotta look around at some weapons see if anything really like sticks out to me. Uh, excuse you. Ex excuse you. There you go. 
yeah, I'll look around, see if any weapons are pretty dope. Uh, maybe I'll even wait for a little bit. See if I can post this as soon as possible and ask you guys if there's any weapons I should get. Modded weapons. You're always telling me to get vanilla weapons. I don't care too much about vanilla weapons in a modded playthrough. Unless they're like needed. Same thing with vanilla armor sets. Or wearing the necro armor. Is there an upgrade to the necro armor? Is this material? It's not material. I don't know if there's another range set past this one. Hold on, let me just do something. Hey, so this is where this weapon comes in handy. Crowd control. Very weak crowd control, but it's still pretty dope. I just love how, like, sporadic and how, like, spread out everything is in these two different. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Ranger Play 2. Hope you enjoyed that. Look, there's a chest right there, too. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>